We're asked to find the x and y intercept for the line given below. Then we're asked to graph the line by plotting the intercepts. So we're given the equation x plus 3y equals 6. So there's a simple strategy that I always recommend students use. And so I always give them this chart pre-filled. So what I mean by that is I will put zeros along the diagonals. Recall that at the x-intercept, y is 0. And at the y-intercept, x is always 0. So now we have two cases in which we will substitute a value for either x or y to solve for the other unknown variable. This will then give us our x and y intercepts respectively. So in order to do this, I always show two cases. So here is the first case. Case number one. In case number one, we have x equal to zero. So what we will do here is wherever we have an x, we will plug in a value of zero. So in this case, we have zero plus three y equal to six. So since we have zero there, we can then write three y equal to six. And then to get y by itself, we divide both sides by three. So then in this case, y equals two. So we will plug in a value of two into our table. Now the second case, case number two, okay, we get this by looking again at our table. In the second case, y equals zero. So wherever we have a y, we will write a zero. So we have x plus 3y, and in this case y is 0, so 3 times 0 equals 6. Now we notice that 3 times 0 is simply 0, so then we're simply left with x equals 6. So we've obtained our value for x. So then we have our x-intercept, 6, 0. So now we have two points, our y-intercept and our x-intercept, and we will graph each of them. So the first point to graph is 0, 2. So here is our origin at 0, and we go down to, or I'm sorry, rather we go up to 2. 0, 2. Our next point is 6, 0, so we start again at our origin and we go to the right 6 units. And there we have 6, 0. We then connect our dots. And we notice that we have the x and y intercept respectively. So recall that the x intercept is the point at which the graph crosses the x-axis, and the y-intercept is the point at which the graph crosses the y-axis. So we've graphed using our intercepts.